Tonight, Hurricane Fiona remains a powerful Category 4 storm as it heads west of Bermuda. Take a look at this new video showing the eye of the storm from a U.S. Air Force plane. The plane typically flies into the tropical weather systems to collect atmospheric data to send to the National Hurricane Center. Fiona is expected to pass near Bermuda early tomorrow and then hit Canada on Saturday. Meanwhile, more than a million people in Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are still without power after the storm hit the islands. NBC's Morgan Chesky has the latest from Bermuda. Yeah, here in Bermuda, you can certainly feel a calm before the storm, but that said, the wind starting to pick up and rain is expected ahead of Hurricane Fiona's arrival later tonight or early Friday morning. And this is a serious hurricane. Right now, it's forecast as a Category 4 when it is expected to sideswipe Bermuda 600 miles off the coast of the Carolinas. It's expected to be a Category 3 hurricane, but that is still packing powerful winds and drenching rains that could knock out power here. That could flood low-lying areas. And that's why residents we've spoken to are doing as much as they can ahead of this storm. They do say they're well prepared and they are no stranger to hurricanes. Back in 2014, this small island nation was struck not once but twice when Hurricane Fay and Gonzalo struck just seven days apart. Now, in the meantime, as this hurricane churns its way through the Atlantic here, there are also warnings as far north as Canada where they could see historic flooding from this massive hurricane that as of right now has everyone here in Bermuda on high alert. Morgan Chesky, NBC News, Bermuda.